day is finally the day. This truck has whipped our ass more than just about anything we've ever worked on. But it's complete. You see the blower is on, got the NX lid on, uh, got Aiden a nice little hot air intake built there. Yeah. Um, got all the water lines connected, got the boost district. Uh, heat, exchanger. heat exchanger, got the reservoir tank over here in the corner, got the pump mounted underneath. We think this is it. We've been waiting on a tune. It just showed up. It's riding currently. Look guys, for the record, we're a little nervous because me and Phantom had very little to do with this whole thing. We just kind of stayed out of the boys way. We worked on our own projects while they were doing this. Now, of course, we'd get the dad, dad, <laughs> and then how's this go? Yeah. Well, we didn't tear none of it apart, so we don't really know. Yeah, it was so really this, a guess. This whole thing has fought us. Uh, I feel like this whole job could be done in a couple of days, but then we waited on stuff. And of course I did the same thing that I normally do. Once we got the blower off and I started realizing we don't want to do this again. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put the LT4 injectors in it. Uh, so we called Texas Speed, got some LT4 injectors. Uh, and then also Deutschworks uh, sent us a pump uh, for the end tank, the boys pulled the tank down, swapped that pump out. Uh, of course, we get little bits of and pieces of things that happen. Uh, the plug won't work. It's not a direct drop in, even though Deutschworks says that it is. Yeah. Uh, come to find out, when these boys get something, they pull it out of the package and they take the package and they throw it away. Yeah, they just pull the biggest piece out. Yes, and then they throw the rest away, whether it be bolts. Yeah. Whether it be bolts, uh, seals. I mean, they've thrown a whole box of injectors away before. Yep, whole box of injectors <laughs> that we never even opened up, they've thrown away yeah. before. And we looked for them things for months. Yeah. And then we just chalked it up to the boys threw them away. Yeah. Uh, yeah so, Aiden had to find the pigtail. Was it in the trash? No, it was right here. It was? Just sit right here. I thought he was dumpster diving. I was hoping he was. Because uh, Dalton d dumpster dive to go get the box. Yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> Well, That'll learn you. It's all our yeah. stuff. <laughs> so, um, we did roll the motor over. So none of the valves hit the pistons yet. No. So, and then you got Dalton saying, "What's the worst that could happen?" It's like here? the worst and thing you going, could ask. What? what? <laughs> so, uh, luckily, Ryan Martin has a truck that is almost to a T of what this is. Yes. Awesome. We just took the tune straight out of his truck. And we're gonna put it straight in this one and see what happens. So, like you said, it's riding right now. Yes. Uh, after that, we may run over to his place, throw it on his dyno, and see what kind of power it, this thing's gonna make. Uh, with this big pulley and the the stock lower pulley, uh, Phantom was thinking it's gonna make somewhere around eight pounds. Eight pounds is gonna be fine for me. I'm sure it's not gonna be fine for Aiden. Yeah. But I still think it'll make 500 plus. Oh, for uh, sure. I mean, these things will make damn near 400 on motor. You know, it's not a 5.0 or anything, but they probably make yeah. 375, 380. Yeah. So, you know, a little bit of boost, uh, but we did give it room to grow. Yes. Uh, the ICT billet uh, accessory to where you don't need to change uh, to the Camaro accessories, uh, it works. So It works. <laughs> let's, let's elaborate on that. Um, for this to work, it, it's it's great it's like the the fit and finish of of the ict stuff is great for this to work on a gm truck 2014 to 2018 you will need the older style blower with the flat lid to not have to do any trimming if you have a newer style lt4 blower with the taller bricks and you want to use the taller lid that fits that or the nx lid like we used you're going to need to do some trimming so but their stuff fits great. Looks good. It looks good. Um, they they have extension harnesses to make everything work. You know, the throttle body on this truck was over here before. So ICT has a harness extension to plug into this, where it's over here now. Um, they have a 
several other extensions. We didn't use them all because we end up putting the air filter back over here, kind of where the stock one was. So the factory uh, mass airflow sensor plug still pretty much in the same spot. So that connector worked where it went. Um, you will also have to figure out a way to use the T-MAP. So the factory map sensor on this truck is a three pin sensor. It's just a map sensor. Well, when you swap to this blower and you use a two bar, three bar, whatever map sensor so that you can get boost and things like that, you're going to have to figure out how to get a four, four pin harness, four pin harness in there. So, um, there's that. Um, it's not hard. You can get you a pigtail from O'Reilly's or Amazon or whatever. And then you can extend your own harness from the factory map sensor to the rear. And then you have to break out the IAT sensor from the factory mass airflow and go over to the fourth pin for the map sensor. Because the T-MAP is temperature and map, basically, is kind of what I imagine it stands for. Uh, IAT sensors factory is in the mass air. The IAT sensor for this setup now is on the map sensor itself in the blower. So be sure to account for that. That's just some of the little stuff that held us up. Uh, there was a lot of little Did stuff that held us up. Did you show your, your uh, bits of wiring here that you'll clean up? Yeah, somebody will. Uh, Other than that, uh, what we want to do right now, and I don't know what you've said and what you haven't. Guys, this clamp would work better if you get actually get it on there. The bottom, it, it's, it's on there like this. Yeah. Um, what we want to do right now is we want this thing to fire up enough and run decent enough, which it should, to idle, get up to temp, make sure all this stuff that these boys have done hasn't, uh, they got no water leaks anywhere because, you know, there was a few problems, you know, this is plastic. They broke that, Yes. you know, uh, so then they went and got. I would have pushed those all the way until they touched. Oh yeah. But you know, that's just me. Yeah. Uh, At I least I lubed it up. I did not do this. Well, I told them. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, we want to. We just want to make sure throttle works. We mm -hmm. want to make sure everything is good to go before uh, us having dinos. We understand what it's like when everybody says, "No, we're ready." Yeah. We are ready to dyno, and then you end up rebuilding their whole car while it's sitting on the dyno instead of doing it in the shop first right so save yourself some time uh some headache go through everything that you're possibly going to need to go through before you take your cars to the dyno we're not the best at that we're probably always going to have some problems on the dyno it's oh yeah part it's of part it. of it it's kind of who we are do we always have our shit together fuck no I mean, we had to rewire the waste gauge for the 55 the other day just so they'd work <laughs> That just goes to show you, because we didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> that just goes to show you, everybody has little problems like that. Yep. Now, did we try them and make sure that they worked before we took it to the dyno? No. Yeah. Should we have? Yes. Probably. But uh, we are not going to go over and waste Ryan's time uh, by having a bunch of problems that we didn't go through. So what I want this thing to do is sit here and idle in the shop. I want... Uh, everything to circulate. I want to make sure that there's no uh, water leaks. Uh, a lot of times, things that I do, the boys don't know yet. Uh, these Lying clamps the right here really up. suck and they need to go back on the exact same way that they came off, otherwise, otherwise they leak. leak. Every time. Uh, it's just part of it. And I can see both of these clamps right here are not at home. They're not, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big problem with these clamps, yep. you know. That's why these clamps, in my opinion, will always work better. Yep. These they, work really they just good. Work. These work really good. Uh -huh. They just have to go back in the same. It's almost like it preforms itself to it after it's been on there for all these years. Mm -hmm. So then when you take it off and you turn it, 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 doesn't, a, it doesn't seal back up. It leaves a void. Yes, <laughs> which is stupid. Yeah. But that comes with uh, experience. Yep. You know, of beating your head to get out against the wall, going, "Why is this thing leaking?" Yeah, chasing a leak and replacing radiators and shit because yes. there's a leak and then it yeah. wasn't the radiator it was a clamp in the wrong spot just you know small little things like that like if this was my truck this would kill me all these bolts being yeah. different now there, there's definitely some stuff we need to finish up but at this point like like i said man this truck's kicked our ass it so has. we're at a point where i don't it's, know if it really kicked our ass 
I feel pretty defeated it, at well, some point. <laughs> but, but we didn't tear it apart. Right. I, I'm pretty good about, I, I don't really care what it is. It doesn't even have to be automotive related. Yeah. If I tear it apart, most of the time I could put it back together. Yeah. But instead you get dad, dad, you know, and comes over there, how's this go? Well, shit, I have no idea. <laughs> so then it takes us that much longer to figure out how it works, how I would put it back together, yeah. and then figure out that's not right. <laughs> Yeah. And then figure out how they want me to put it back together. Yes. So, so yeah, you know, but in, in, in general, the boys did a good job. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dalton and Aiden and, and Peyton even helped, you know. Uh, they did good. So, it, it's not running yet. No. So, I don't want them to pat themselves on the back too much yet. But uh, the fuel pump is in, and it is pumping. It is. It it's primes doing, right it's up. It's doing fuel pump things. Yep. You know, the, the motor, we've already turned it over. We ain't hear anything inside. <laughs> eating itself apart yet. Uh, I want this thing to warm up. I want to run it through. After that, I want the boys to change the oil in it uh, because we did pull the heads off of this thing. Yes. And when the heads come off, I don't care how much uh, you sucked all the water out of this thing, water still gets in the oil. Yep. So we're not going to run it for very long. We're going to run it long enough to get it up to temperature and then uh, make sure there's no leaks and shit, which yeah. And I will go ahead and address this because I know someone's going to mention it in the video. Yes, I'll clean up the wiring. Like I said, oh, yeah, I, that's was, why I, talked about I was very defeated once I figured out, like I thought we were done. And then I went to make a new harness to go back to the map sensor and they're not even kind of the same. One's three pin, one's four pin. You got to get a wire from over here and run it over there. And so yes, I'll clean it up. I just want to hear it run right now. Yeah, me too. Let's see so, what happens. Yep. Yeah, All right, we're ready. Start it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Tom's <laughs> over there just nervous. Stand back, wall. Yeah. I think it's gonna bust right off, you know, if the tune and, and, and uh, all the map sensor and all that shit's right. Is it still downloading? No, I'm just opening that one. Oh, yeah. If it all comes apart and starts knocking and shit, I'm just gonna turn around and walk off, turn the camera off. Don't look at me. That's the end of this video. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, I can go ahead and tear all this out. We'll build it on the engine stand. All right. All right, hold
Why are the fans still on? Well, if you will recall, Dalton had asked a very dumb question yesterday. Yeah, what's, what's the worst, what's the worst that thing, could thing that can happen? Hey, we didn't even say fire. Fire was not on my list of the worst thing that fire can happen. Fire is at the top of the list of worst things that can happen. It should always be, but on something like this, no. it wasn't on my list. So uh, yesterday uh, I did go over not much, but I was pulling on some lines and one of the Jesus clips in the, the cooler in the front. There's three or four things that go to this cooler. Yeah. Engine, transmission, like... So it's there's there's, there's lots of stuff, yes. To find out. Uh, well, I pulled one out and I said, hey, you've got to get these in there really good. Well, obviously on the, the, the oil cooler. The engine not oil the, cooler. Yes. Not, I thought it was transmission. I did too. <clears throat> Boy, it's terrible looking oil, by the way. Yeah. Terrible. When's the last time you changed the oil in this thing? About 5,000 miles ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> Should have done 300 all night. <laughs> Oil's cheap, huh, yeah. <laughs> So, so... That's what happened, man. It's sitting here idling. It's it's everything's warming up. Uh, the <laughs> thermostat just opened because I reached up and I felt it. It was warm. It was uh, it was circulating. It was doing its things. And then it you got know? real warm. And then woof. <laughs> and me being the safety, you know, uh, I mean, stickler that I am. It's your middle name. Yeah. Sean uh, Safety Ellington. I just put fire extinguishers all around this shop yesterday. Yep. And you know me. You got me fucked up with fire. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I so, took off running. So I, I was gonna go grab it, and then you opened the door, and I was, yeah, yeah, grab that fire extinguisher. And I'll be yes. honest with you, I was running that way, and then you said extinguisher. Oh, so I yeah, no, it. I thought you was going to get the extinguisher in front of me. <laughs> you know, I just didn't want to run and get too excited and kick shit with my toe. Yeah. You know, and and then you know I'd be real upset. <laughs> then you, you reached in the hood and you go, hey. <laughs> But was it about out? It was. it was about out. It was. That's about the same thing as trying to plug an oil or a fuel yeah, pump yeah, with your yeah. finger. Uh, but yes, I thought I had blown it out, you know, and then there was still a little bit of fire down there. So yeah. I, you know, I gave it the old a little bit. Now we got to replace that deal. <sighs> no. No? No, I just barely used any of it. Oh, okay. Here's the pin if you want to. I think it's still good to go for a little bit. Um, could have been worse, I think. But oh, yeah. we have blown oil lines everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, if anybody recalls the one time, I mean, whatever, if you want to call it a crash, the one time that I bumped the wall. Yeah, just here recently. Off a mile an hour. Dude, there was oil everywhere. 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 And I know everywhere. it was hotter than this. Yeah. And that shit just lit. You know, this did. Mine didn't. Not I don't, even, you know. You know fire's fire's funny Ma thing. Because Maxim is probably flame, flame retardant. Probably. Probably it's so. the best. Yeah. And you know them headers were warm. Oh man, they weren't that. Oh no, not on, this, on this. Not on no, this. No, I'm talking about on my car. On my oh car. yeah, no, yours were like 1,800 degrees. These were like five. Well, they probably weren't 1,800. <laughs> That's probably what they read. Yeah. Anyway, so they've been cleaning here for about an hour, trying to get everything cleaned up. Uh, we've rolled the motor over. There was a couple of other issues that we had, uh, like no compression or actually no fire in two holes. Uh, I did the. The compression check mm -hmm. and number one and number three neither one had compression i mean they <laughs> that's about it so like there's a piston in there yeah no there's something in there going up and down yeah uh, i just feel like uh whatever type of compression that when it gets to the top is being bled off by something being open mm -hmm. like maybe a rocker didn't get seated into the push rod real good yeah and that's where they tightened it down it happens yeah no it happens um, nice set that anyway so eh, we're gonna pull the valve cover off and see what's going on in there i do feel like number three came back around <laughs> it, was, it, it, Look, wasn't ready, that, it wasn't ready to go to work we don't yet. need to talk about that anymore yeah i felt like it did not have compression and then i got my old finger over the hole a little bit better yeah and then it started blowing my finger off oh okay so uh I don't know. I don't know. We're, we're, just gonna, we're just gonna have to check it out and see, and it may not be a bad idea to check all the rockers. Yeah. Uh, this is the type of stuff that we probably should have been doing, but we were doing other projects yes. while the boys were doing all this. Yes. Uh, pretty simple. Yeah. But you know, they're also 16. Right. So. Right. So. Uh, I never tore anything up, did I, Dad? Never. See. <laughs> so. Never. <laughs> Oh, you did? Uh -huh. 
Uh, should we check that? Probably shouldn't say all of them. This Jesus clip one more time? My dad checked both of them, didn't he? You know what? We should have loosened. We should have loosened. Yeah, but. Ready? Alright, let's listen I mean, yeah. Okay, here we go. You want to I mean, yeah. Let's get it over there. Them two coils. Bad coil, maybe? I... No. Eight? No. <laughs> it's not, it, it doesn't uh, change the compression. What is that? Oh, that's 10. I'm sure this ain't gonna do nothing, just to let you know, but we're gonna try it. It's not gonna change the compression in that hole. I, I feel like this problem was here before we did anything. So, we'll, uh, Very minimum, but we'll pull this one head off and change it out. Yep. Sucks. No big deal. Just but like that. Everything is working. Everything's good. You guys know how to do it. We'll pull this off. I'd really like to go get that head from Ryan, but I'd like to pull this one off and see if we can see a clear problem like, and it the not be the ring. Just, I wasn't even thinking for that. What? <laughs> There's only two things that make compression. A sealed head or an unsealed ring. <laughs> and then whenever you fired this thing up and I said, man, there's a lot of blow by. Uh-huh. No, I know. There's not so much now. Not, not so much now. We're gonna know real quick that this is not the problem. Which we already do. Yep. See if it'll roll over. Something just broke. Yeah, that sounds like a chain or something. Timing chain. So we messed up. 
if you will remember when we first started working on Aiden's truck here, Sean and I both mentioned that neither of us had ever worked on uh, a truck this new. Trucks this new have the single bolt cams. I knew back in the day, like on a say a 2008 model, they had single bolt cams as well, but they had a conversion kit to go to a three bolt cam, which made it just like all the old stuff, got rid of the BVT or whatever and what have you and blah, blah, blah. So I had forgot, we've actually ordered a few cam kits for Ryan Martin for the LT motors with three bolt uh, cam conversion kit from Texas Speed. Well, when I ordered this, ordered single bolt cam and all the BS that goes along with it, and it bit us. Um, you can kind of see here every piston has hit a valve. It's not good. Uh, the pistons are fine. Um, we actually checked all the heads and only one valve actually lets water by it. It was the number one exhaust valve. But we didn't chance it. Uh, we went and got some new heads. Uh, thanks to Ryan Martin. He's got everything over there at the Fireball Shop. Uh, he had an old set of 5.3 heads that'll go right back on this deal. Um, to make sure that this doesn't happen again, we went ahead and got the Texas Speed 3 bolt cam conversion kit with their new timing cover. Um, some ARP bolts and the same camshaft but with three bolts hopefully yes three bolts instead of one so the boys got it all tore apart they were pretty defeated as were we but uh... okay they got this deal all put back together and uh, we're about to try this thing for real this time. Got the new three bolt conversion kit from Texas Speed all put in. Got some new heads bolted on, just some stock 5.3 heads. It is already on. The boys finished putting it together last night and this morning. Um, we decided to put some new O2 sensors in since one got a little bit charred in the fire. <laughs> so, are they gonna work? Is that the right one? I mean, do you have it unplugged yet? Otherwise, you're just twisting it up in there. Oh, uh, did you? Who plugged it back in? Well, it was unplugged yesterday. Yeah, I plugged it in. Why? It's good wire. I'll get it. Where's that little tool at? You got it? I have right here. This is what takes so long, everybody. Right here. This is it. So, we get these O2s in, we'll lower it back down. Hook the Ooh. battery up, fill it up with fluids, and uh, see if we have a little better luck this time. Okay, here we go. I wouldn't put that lid on, it's still gonna need more energy. Exactly, okay. Pick. That's what I said. Why are you hitting the screen? Okay.
the back, maybe? until it shoots out and then you it's full okay then we're fine and that doesn't mean that it doesn't need any right. you know what i mean yeah i'd tighten that up need to oh, it's just nasty in here it sounds good it does yeah. Even though it's not tuned, it still sounds good. But we need breathers to go to that tank over there. And then you need to mount that tank somewhere in here. See, because that right there, as soon as as soon as you stick this thing out there, it's going to make more crankcase pressure. And it's just going to blow more out of here. So you're going to have to, like the man van, like we did in the man van, you'll have to check that every once in a while because it'll fill full of water. Condensation. Which is what it's doing here. See how it's blowing water on that? Yeah. Uh, ever since we got this truck though, I've always said, man, these things don't idle where the fuck. <laughs> no, we were well, like, that's man. the reason that they don't idle where the fuck is because this thing had a bent valve. We were just talking, that's probably a direct injection thing. Yeah. Did you just miss everybody so you had to come over? So now what? Once. Fix this belt and dyno it? Fix the belt and then uh, we Definitely need to need stop some somewhere and get uh -huh. some bolts for these four because the, the kit that has, oh, there's one what missing right to there the, too. What happened to the brand new ones I just gave you? I, I gave somebody a pack of But you get. No, no, no. They were shorties that would have worked. Oh, they probably used them. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I put four shorties in the back. Brand new ones? Yeah, like yeah. brand new. We yeah. can't see them, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> He put the real ugly ones yeah, on the sides. Yeah, yeah. But hey, you can look at that two ways, man. Don't have to get back there again whenever they get the new ones yeah. or leave the old ones, the shitty ones in the back. Yeah, that's yeah. what I did that for. Yeah, yeah. yeah good sure. job. All right, fix this belt, uh, put this on it, make this thing, you know, a little bit presentable. And then, uh, you know. Still no. Put all this on it. No. What? None. Now say it. No, no. We're just gonna say no hood, but yeah. Oh no, we'll put a hood on it before no. we go. Before we go dyno it? Well, of course. It takes like four minutes. Look, we don't drive around with no hoods, do we? We try not to. We try We try not to, unless you're the shop truck. We goddamn and you're sure a one-man team. We goddamn sure don't drive around without no lower valences. That's right. Okay. If we, if we do, we're mad about it. Make it happen. Uh, we need All right. Sort. Nice job, guys. Got this deal in one try. Yeah. Only took a couple days. Yeah. Everything went great. It's been three weeks. Literally three weeks for a cam and blower install. Yeah. Sorry. Right, Better words, cam blower. Sounds yeah. good. It sounds good. No, hey, it turned out cool. It sounds good. Uh, I'm glad we made room for the NX lid. It's way cooler than a stock one. Um, blowers are cool. It's already making cool blower noises. Um, Blowers are definitely coolest. So now, time to get on the dyno, right? So take it to Ryan's. Um, take it over to Ryan's tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> and the reason for that is, is he has a truck that's just like this one, with you know a little bit different blower on it, but the whole fuel system's the same. Uh, cam is the same we should actually be able to put his tune in this one which is what's in it right now mm -hmm. and it's pretty damn close yes so we're gonna at least see what kind of power it uh it makes and you know it's it's not gonna make a whole bunch because it's not pulled for a whole bunch but 
it, that, that's a that's a factory pulley, and plus the stock truck balancer is smaller than an LT4. Uh, okay, balancer. well then good, we're going to be right in the ballpark. Yes, we so, don't want to make a whole lot. Right, because it's still a five three. Still and a five three. They say these are junk, which I believe all LTs are junk. To be totally honest with you. Well, and Aiden can't afford a six two right now, <laughs> so if he tears this thing up. Like he's just gonna be ha have to be happy with making blower noises, I mean, and it's still gonna make between five and six hundred. Yeah, which is plenty for him to get in trouble with. Yeah, compared to the three something that it made before with a down cylinder. Yeah. Yes. So put the new heads on it, uh, and these obviously all the valves in them are good. Yeah, they all go back and hit the seats and seal back up it idles right now without being fucking tuned for this better than it ever has since the day we got it it was always a little it was always a little and i just went anyways we'll take it over we'll dyno it we'll see what happens uh whatever it is at this point it is what it is yeah uh we ain't trying to set the world on fire with this thing he's 16. No, and he's and he's got a race car, you know what I mean? Or something that's more racy than his daily driver. Yeah, that is hopefully gets worked on soon. Yeah. So. It it turned out cool, like hopefully he's happy with it so far. You know, it, it's definitely sucked uh getting to this point, but now we're here and hopefully everything's good. We get have a nice smooth dyno and then he's able to start driving this thing and get it the fuck off the lift. Yes. So we can work on the Ford. Yeah, we got things we want to do. Yeah, like we spent our whole break working on this truck. Like we're fixing to have to go back to work in a couple weeks. You realize yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Go to Australia. Yeah. So, um, did the content of the e ego up? Uh, no. So I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. All right, Aiden, put that other five gallons in it. Yep. And then uh, <clears throat> put a couple gallon, couple jugs in the bed of the truck. That way he can stop and get some 91. We may have to do that. I don't want to, but it is what it is. We want to run on E85. Ryan runs his on 91. Ooh. Yeah. Did they stop selling the 85 in Norman? They stopped selling the 85 almost everywhere. There's only two gas engines I know of so around here. So at this point, we probably have a decision. We can <laughs> run it on 91 all the time, or we can run it on, and I feel like we I mean, can run it on E. I don't understand why we couldn't. Yeah. Uh, the fuel system is should be enough, especially to make the little bit of power that this thing's going to make. Yeah. I would think so. I mean, that's why we put that pump and injectors in, right? And then a good detorch pump. So. so, I guess that's it. And then the next time this camera comes on, it'll be on the dyno and see what kind of power it makes getting getting tuned up. Yeah, at this point, anything over 500 and, and it's fine for now until yeah. we get ready to step on it a little bit. Yeah. This is his daily driver. He has been daily driving my Ford. We're done with that situation. Yeah. So, he can't tear this thing up. 500 horsepower is plenty. Oh, yeah. So anything over that, we're going to be cool with as long as it's safe. And uh, hopefully he doesn't blow it up anytime soon. Yep. Which. So whatever power it makes, we'll pull a couple degrees out. I've heard that it's going to blow up. Yep. If you have a 5.3, they blow up. That's what that's what everybody says. So, and I mean, you can get on Marketplace and you can tell when something ain't worth a fuck because it's 500 bucks. Yep. For a LT 5.3. Yep. Unless it's a LS 5.3 and then those things are gold and you can That's still right. get them for 500 bucks. That's right. So, uh, the 6.2s though, whew, you ain't touching one of them for grand. four thirty five hundred. Yeah. What What did I do? It's, the cold, it's a cold outside? It's freezing. You look bundled up. All right, so it's, you wanna hear it? This thing is blowing noises. Start it, Aiden. Pressure mom. He'll get in that rod jacket. Uh -huh. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Just off the road.
was nice and quiet, so. No, no bow train noise. The smell of antifreeze just never seems to go away. Yo. I mean, you know, look at the blow-by already. She got some blow-by. Just broke in just right for some booze. <laughs> yeah, I need mean, to seal them rings up a yep. little bit or something. Yep. Truck's only got, what, 120,000? Something like that, yeah. Had 90 something on it whenever I got 98, it. 98, like just yeah. under 100, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yep, sounds good. We'll uh we'll see what it makes now. Yep.